In this video, I'll cover the exact fitness features that come with the Fitbit app, so you can decide if it's worth upgrading to Fitbit Premium. And I've left timestamps in the description below, so you can skip ahead to a particular section if you want. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steve Bourne, your qualified personal trainer and father of three, bringing you the latest fitness tech and workout programs that will help you get fit at home on the go. So please like, subscribe and click that notification bell as it really does help our small channel grow. The Fitbit app is available on Android and Apple iOS devices for you to download, track and record all your fitness data from your newly purchased Fitbit device. Once you open the app up, you'll be greeted to your homepage, which will give you an overview of your daily performance. Highlighted at the top of the page in blue, you'll be greeted with the daily steps that you've achieved, as long as you have your Fitbit device synced. This blue ring indicates how far you're away from achieving your daily step goal, as it completes the circle throughout the day. Which my Fitbit Versa 2 is currently set to 8,000 daily steps, which you can customise higher or lower depending on your activity level. Question of the day, let me know what Fitbit device you're looking at getting in the comments below, and a reason why you're looking to get it. find four of the main stats which pretty much come on every Fitbit tracker. These include how many floors you've climbed, the miles or kilometers you've traveled depending on what part of the world you're from, calories burned and your active minutes. Now if you're not happy with the main fitness stat being the step counter then you can swap any one of these five stats around. Just click on the edit text on the right hand side then drag them up or down into the order you wish them to appear by clicking on the three horizontal lines and then dragging them into place. Once you're done just hit save. These are the five main stats I'm currently using as I've picked up the Fitbit Versa 2 for my everyday device. Number one, your calorie intake. This is represented by the Apple logo. It allows you to record all your food intake for the day, so there's no need now to have an additional app on your phone to record your food calories for the day. Like MyFitnessPal as it's built into the Fitbit app with no additional charge. To add foods, click on the plus icon, then either search for your food by typing it in using the search bar, or use the barcode reader to scan your food instantly. Once you have used the app a few times, it will then start to show you your most frequent and recent entries. To make adding your food calories a little more convenient. Number two, you've got your sleep score. Now unlike my old Apple Watch, my Fitbit Versa 2 has a five day battery life. So instead of having to charge my Apple Watch every single night, just to have it ready for the next day, I can now continue to wear my Fitbit Versa 2 throughout the night and actually record my sleep patterns. It gives you an overall sleep score in the morning. And yes, I know, mine is terrible. It then breaks your sleep down into the following day your REM, your light sleep and your deep sleep and how long you awake during the night. Over 30 days then you can see your average sleep at the bottom and it also gives you a benchmark that you need to try to achieve. If you do have Fitbit Premium though it does break it down into a lot more detail and gives you a program on how to improve your sleep. Exercises per week tracks your workouts and your automatically tracked activities. These are activities that consistently raise your heart rate for over 10 minutes, such as walking for example. If you then open up on your workout, you then can see a breakdown of your calories burned, heart rate and your fat burning zone. Number four shows you your heart rate and your resting heart rate. And then if you open it up, you can see your fit score. Now if you've never had a Fitbit device before, and you have no stats already synced to your Fitbit account, then your Fit score, regardless of your current fitness level, is gonna start at poor. There's no way to edit this. It needs a good few weeks of data to give you a more accurate reading. Well, that's my excuse at the moment. And number five, we've got the weight tracker. So it basically does what it says on their tin. Here's where you can record your current weight and your target weight that you want to achieve. If you do have a Fitbit Smart Scale, like the one I've linked in the description below, when you weigh yourself on these scales, your results will be automatically sent to the Fitbit app. These are just the main five stats I'm currently using myself at the moment. If you do have Fitbit Premium, then there are even more additional stats that you can add to your Fitbit app to customize it even further. And lastly, you can track your water intake and your menstrual cycle if you want. And there's even more fitness stats that you can add to the app if you own Fitbit Premium. Now all these features come with the standard app. So if you're like me and want to just keep it simple and record the food that you consume for the day, then there really is no need to upgrade to the Fitbit Premium. As here in the UK it costs $79.99 for the year or $7.99 a month. While in the USA it costs $79.99 for the year or $9.99 a month. Fitbit Premium. 
If you want to know more about Fitbit Premium, I've left the link up there for you to check out more information about the program. And if you do already own the Fitbit app, then just scroll to the bottom of the page. Click on the Premium arrow icon where here you can try Fitbit Premium using the seven day free trial. Fitbit Premium gives you detailed stat reports, mindfulness tools, full audio and video workouts to follow, guided programs, and exclusive premium challenges. Also featured at the bottom of the page is the community tab. Here is the place to go if you want a little bit more inspiration. Here you can create groups with your friends or join one of the many open fitness groups to post those after workout selfies. I've created one myself if you want to join mine. I'll leave all the details in the description below. So head over and say hi. If you have any more questions about the Fitbit app or the Fitbit Premium series, ask away in the comments below or reach out to me on my social media platforms. Subscribe if this video has helped you out in any way. I'm Steve Bunn, never give up trying to get those goals and I'll see you next week, goodbye.